One of our garden goals this year is to propagate some of our favorite plants around our garden. And the first one that we are trying this year is this fig tree. And this tree gets really, really big. It's about 30 feet. It is a fig tree. It produces these delicious purple figs. We aren't sure the variety of this fig tree. We just know it produces these lovely, delicious fruit between June and October, with the biggest flush being in those summer months. So right now we are grabbing cuttings from the tree and we are making sure that we are grabbing plenty of them because we aren't sure if this is going to work. It is our first time propagating through cuttings so I'm just going through and picking out ones that are about a pencil size thick, and I am making sure that I am cutting them diagonal, so kind of at an angle. And as I said before, we did grab several cuttings. I can't remember the exact number we ended up having. I actually think about 70-ish cuttings. And Rodney had the idea to grab larger ones, like larger branch type cuttings, and they actually look like mini trees to me. <laughs> I don't know how well it's gonna work. Well, I actually have some results that I'll wait to share at the end. But like I said, it's all an experiment. Our first time propagating plants through cuttings, we usually divide them, divide them at the root. So doing this, it's like a fun way to get more plants, a fun cheap way to get more plants. Let me know if you guys are fans of propagating by cuttings. I would love to know, and if you have any tips for us, we would be grateful to hear them. <laughs> but we are just filling some pots with potty mix and we ended up doing two sets of trays like this and some larger big gallon containers where that allowed us to put more cuttings in them. So in these trays, we're gonna end up putting one cutting right in the center her pot. But before the cuttings go into these pots, we are going to expose the green flesh. So we're just taking a knife and scraping the bark away to expose that flesh. And this is where the roots are going to come from. So as long as that green flesh has contact with the soil, roots should form as long as everything works out like it should. <laughs> and we just repeated that exact same process over and over until all of the cuttings are in soil. Gardening is definitely therapeutic. I did feel somewhat relaxed when I was scraping the bark away to expose the green flesh. I don't know why. <laughs> But it, it, was, it was tedious, but it was relaxing at the same time. And to be sure that the soil doesn't dry out quickly, we are putting wood chips on top of the soil, pretty much mulching each pot. And this should ensure that we don't have to water as much. But there are so many different ways to propagate fig cuttings. I, well, to root fig cuttings. I actually saw 
that you can wrap the entire pot in plastic, which creates like kind of like a greenhouse effect and that would eliminate watering altogether. I've also saw or have seen people put the cuttings directly into the ground. That method seems to work. Just so, just so many different ways. And we love that fig tree that's in the front of the house. The only con we have with it is that it's in front of the house. <laughs> it is in such an odd position, but it absolutely loves that spot. So we inherited this tree pretty much from the previous owners of our home. And it loves that spot. It grows to like 30 feet. We sometimes cut it down. Sometimes we just leave it and it just grows back. It, it's unbelievable how amazing it is. So being able to take cuttings from it and getting new plants from it is a venture that we are excited about. So here is Rodney <laughs> trying to root, well, trying to get this larger branch into the soil. Hilarious. I was like laughing the entire time we was doing this because I was skeptical. But those, we ended up losing two of those big cuttings that you guys saw, but there is several that have actually rooted. So... I don't know if those are gonna do well. Also, if we'll lose them, so I will keep you guys posted on the those bigger cuttings. And all of the cuttings will be living right here in the greenhouse. And we do have a small heater that's in here, and I like to keep it at about 60, 60 ish degrees at minimum on a really good day. <laughs> We have seedlings in here also, so the tiny heater does the job. Okay, it is eight weeks to be exact, eight weeks. So we rooted the cuttings in the soil on January the 28th, and it is now March 28th, and here is how they are looking. So that method did work. They are growing roots from that exposed flesh, and we are so excited. I don't know what we're gonna do with all of these figs. We have like this funny plan to like start like a like a mini fig farm. I, I don't know. Me and him be dreaming, and <laughs> I don't, I don't know if it if, if it's even gonna come to fruition. But it's fun to just experiment and to try something new. So guys, we will keep you updated. I think the next time we do an update of these figs, we will be up potting each one into like a gallon size container. With that said, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss when that update video comes out. And let me know below what you think of the growth in that time span. I am still kind of in shock that this experiment is actually working out so far. <laughs> and guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy gardening.